Make-A-Wish Vermont is getting ready to crown a winner for its annual Vermont Beardies contest. Local 44's Devin Bates spoke with the Make-A-Wish team and caught up with some of this year's contestants. Devin is now live in the studio with more. The Beardies. Yeah, Lauren, I didn't get the memo. Make-A-Wish Vermont's president, Jamie Hathaway, calls this a no-raiser fundraiser. Four days in, some folks have already gotten in the spirit for a cause that takes a community. Mark Shequin and his team at Seaway Car Wash are growing whiskers to grant wishes. They're local kids that are getting these wishes granted. Um, you can't really pick a much better foundation to, to donate to. Money raised from the annual Beardies contest has helped grant over 20 wishes for Vermont Wish Kids and their families. In its six years, the fundraiser has helped raise almost $300,000 for the foundation. It's a dollar per vote and every dollar gets them closer to winning the title of Best Beard in Vermont and getting us closer to granting a wish for a kid who needs it. Contests like this, they may seem silly, but they're not. They're building community around families in crisis, and that's what the Beardies is. We have a lot of fun doing it. Only the top 25 fundraisers will advance to the finals to earn that coveted title of Best Beard in Vermont. So growing a majestic beard is only part of the competition. For some folks, it doesn't have to be part of it at all. Even if you don't have a beard, register. You know, you can, uh, I've seen many fake beards that look good too. It's all about the cause. The past couple of years have made the process of granting wishes a bit difficult for Make-A-Wish Vermont President Jamie Hathaway and his staff, but they've found a way to get it done by keeping traditions like the Beardies going strong. We've had to change our wishes. Uh, kids have been really creative. Uh, there's nothing like the creativity of, of a child. So our wishes have changed. We're going back to normal pretty soon, it looks like. We hope, crossing our fingers, Make-A-Wish will look like the Make-A-Wish we were before the pandemic. But stuff like this helps us keep going, helps us keep hope alive. So far this year's contestants have raised over $14,000. If you want to learn more about how you can get involved, you can click the link to this story under our website, mychamplainvalley.com. Live in the studio tonight, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.